a species is um, an organism that is capable of uh, reproducing within its population and reproducing, uh, we'll say, animals of its own kind. In other words, breeding is the criterion for a species. But for practical, most practical purposes for zoologists and indeed for paleontologists, because we can never know if they could interbreed, it's a morphological definition. Of course, nowadays we have the addition of DNA evidence, which is becoming more and more crucial, which is a, way, a different way of asserting identity. And uh, uh, a lot of modern work is done almost immediately. You go from the specimens in hand to looking at their DNA in a lab, which contributes other information. I hope that's a direct enough answer for you. David? Uh, there's just one thing you could add, which is that it is often said that species don't interbreed with other species, because if they did, they, they, there would be a, a one population and the differences would breed out. But of course, there are species which can interbreed with other species. Lions can interbreed with tigers. They don't necessarily produce uh, fertile young, but in some cases, there are these things, but they do not naturally occur in the same place. But having said that, uh, modern biology is recognizing that the 19th century notion of a species is actually has fuzzy edges because species do change and species do emerge from other species. So that process isn't an overnight uh, 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 flash. It, it is a gradual process. So it follows that there will therefore be fuzzy edges where you can't be quite sure what it is. Nonetheless, if you don't have some labels, even for parts of it, even if you acknowledge that the edges are fuzzy, if you don't have any labels at all, you're really sunk. I mean, you have nothing to talk about. 